Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing what's in my baby bag. This fly, oh my gosh, I'm going to kill it. Are you for real? So I was hoping to leave my hair down but that's just not going to happen. Okay, so I just quickly tied my hair up because I cannot... I can just not have it down, I don't know why. So I'm going to show you guys what is in my baby bag. So I have a 4 month old and a 18 month old baby girls and I obviously have to squish, well not squish but manage to fit all um, of their nappies and everything in this bag. So I originally had a single zip um, baby bag with Ava then obviously as I had another baby I transitioned into the double zip just because it for one I needed the room and two it has a little bit more space and storage to fit both of the girls stuff in there so if you guys want to see what's in my baby bag then keep watching okay so first off this is what the baby bag looks like all fun stuff so I'm just going to transition into this sort of position so you guys can see my baby bag um, yeah so let's go first off let's start at the front and we'll make our way around and then into the bag itself so at the front I hold my phone this is just my phone cover oh and a hair tie okay cool Alright, so I just have my phone in here. That's just obviously the case because I'm using my phone at the moment. So that's where I hold my phone. In these two front ones, I don't have anything just because, I mean, they are pretty, you could put stuff in there. I just choose not to because I probably couldn't be bothered and I'll probably forget that something's in there. So in this front to left pocket, I just hold um, liners and breast pads as I am breastfeeding. So, um... Throughout the day, I will come into this pocket and change my um, breast pads. Um, this pocket, I don't really have anything. Um, or do I? Oh, okay. Well, I didn't know that. A snack banana bar. Well, I could probably put something flat in there like um, the girls papers when we go to the hospital um when we make hospital trips or appointments i would put them in there but in this video i'm just not going to worry about that so on the sides on each side is a decent um size pocket for bottles so on this side i hold the advent bottle for ava so that just sits nicely in there and then on the other side i hold the tommy Tippy one, I think that's how you say it. Um, 150ml for Natalina. They came with these two. There's actually another one, I can't find it because Ava just loves playing with them. But it comes with these two. Um, I don't even know what they are. Um, on the description, it said that you can put their your keys or um, the dummies on there. Um, but I don't know, I don't really use it for anything. It sort of just sags there. I'm that type of person or mum where I just chuck my keys anywhere in my baby bag and then get like this baby brain so when I come when I approach my car I'm having to pull everything out of my baby bag and it's just a real hot mess in the car park and checking all the pockets pulling out bottles just everything in general so maybe I might use this might be actually a handy idea I might do a little, like, little test run see how that goes Got heading into the front. I always get confused on what side like this opens. Sorry, I keep changing angles, guys. I'm just trying to like. So heading into the front of my baby bag. That is just sort of an idea of what it looks like. I just hold um the creams and some clothes. So this is what 
the inside of my baby bag looks like. I just hold Ava's nappies flat and then I put Natalina's on the side um, just standing just so it makes it easier um, for everything to fit really really nicely. So everything is mainly held in the front part of my baby bag. It is the biggest component out of the whole bag itself. So the diapers, spare clothes, wipes, everything. So as I showed you guys, Ava's nappies lay flat. On top of that, I keep my um, fragrance, fragrance free Huggies wipes. Now um, on top of the wipes, I do keep both of the girls clothes. I just keep two of the jumpsuits and they just they're just fine for her to wear. So during the day or night, she will always have onesies, um, jumpsuits in here. For Ava, I always keep a spare top, tights, and socks for both of the girls. And I always have my pseudo cream. This stuff is so bloody good. And this stuff has lasted me since last year, and I haven't even used that much. And the two main pockets, I hold um, the 50 scented nappy bags and um, two pairs of socks, one for each of the girls. In the back, I just have have this little squishy thingy. I don't even know the correct term for it because I can't think of it right now. But um, yeah, it's to just suck out their boogans. That's about it. And on to the last zip of my baby bag is just where um, I keep the old a change mat, um, my wallet, and just those little knickknacks. So the baby bag came with a change mat. Um, it does look small, but it's really not. It's actually pretty long, sorry. It's worked really good for when um, we're out at the beach and can't be bothered walking all the way to the toilet. So I'll just put, lay her on this nice padding in that. So that just lays in the first component. Um, in the second one, which is a bit more smaller, I just have my my wallet. There's nothing spontaneous about that. So in the last one, I just hold my wallet, which it's not really a wallet. It's for my phone, really. It's um, a portable charger. So I just stick my phone inside, hook it up to one of these, and it just charges my phone on the go. I have in here is just a mini perfume from Mariah Carey, my MAC Extra Dimension Skin Finish Oh Darling, um, just like a little touch up um, concealer brush and then I have my Sigma, it's just um, Limelight Bronzer and I just hold my MAC lipstick. So this is always changing this little um, bag of mine, what I also carry in my baby bag. Also have deodorant. Um, I cannot leave the house without having deodorant and I carry deodorant in your baby bag. What are you doing? I have um, some Baby Johnson's baby oil. You guys are probably wondering why I have it. So Natalina has really bad cradle cap and throughout the day it will get really, really dry. So if I'm out at the shops or I'm running errands and I'm noticing that she's scratching at her head or that um, it's dry, I'll just put a little bit of this on there. So this isn't a permanent thing that's gonna be staying in the baby bag because her cradle cap has been getting so much better um, where I've don't really use this as much as you guys can see I've used quite a bit in the last four months and that's that so I haven't added anything to my baby bag this is it packed I always pack my baby bag um, in the afternoons even if I'm not going anywhere at least I know it's packed and I can just run out the door without having to you know put the kids in the car and then run back and be like oh my god I forgot this I need to put this in my baby bag so I always have this um, ready on the kitchen table um, sorry on the kitchen bench um, so as I run out the door this is always packed so I don't have to worry about anything I just just go doesn't matter if it's um, early morning and a nice sunny day um, I always pack a baby blanket bag packed for two little girls so guys that is the end of what is in my baby bag um 
times two. So um, if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the family. Um, turn on post notifications so that every time I upload a video, you guys will be notified. Also, don't forget to like and leave a comment down below if you guys want. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Do the best for me. Do the best for you.